Hi, I'm Dr. Marissa Hake, and you guys know that I love calves. When we think about calf health, there are really two top diseases, which are pneumonia and diarrhea. As a veterinarian and producer, I want to make sure that we protect our calves from these diseases through good management practices and preventable measures like vaccines. Vaccination strategies for calves are a little bit different than vaccination of older animals because they have an immature immune system. Maternal antibodies from colostrum provide passive immunity for disease protection. Those antibodies passed from the mama cow to the calf are essential for protecting the calf in the first two to six months of life. But as the calf gets older, the antibodies from mom start to wear off and the calf becomes less and less protected. During this critical time, the calf is required to mount their own immune response. The tricky thing about vaccinating young calves is that some of these antibodies from the mama cow can block the calf from mounting its own immune response to vaccine. This is something that we have to consider when we're designing vaccine programs for calves. This is why intranasal vaccines are ideal for young calves because they spur a local re immune response and have less interference from those maternal antibodies. Today, we are vaccinating our young calves with an intranasal vaccine called Bovillus Nasalgen 3 PMH from Merck Animal Health. This vaccine protects against both viral and bacterial pathogens. It protects against IBR, BRSV, PI3, Mannheimia hemolytica, and Pastorella metacida. One cool feature of this Nasalgen product is the blue dye indicator, which helps the produ producer visually see that the calf has been vaccinated. Vaccine programs are not one size fits all and vaccine decisions should be made in conjunction with your herd veterinarian.